Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing a diamond painting from Home Craftology. So this is the second kit that I ordered from Home Craftology when they had a uh, buy one get one free special deal going. So I've already unboxed the peacock. Uh, I'll put a link up here. And this is the, the kit that I got with it. So Homecraftology, um, very well known name in diamond painting. They are based in Australia. And uh, I actually bought my first diamond painting kit from Homecraftology uh, many moons ago. So I heard that they had uh, upgraded their kits, they have upgraded the canvas, they now use port glue instead of double sided adhesive and a couple of other things. So I was curious about it and then when I saw that they were doing buy one get one free, couldn't resist the temptation. So we'll get on with this one and see what we have. Um, I suppose I should mention the box. Um, the box is pretty good. Uh, you can see it, it came in really good condition. The two boxes were uh, banded together with elastic bands. They were double wrapped in bubble wrap. So the packaging was very good and the boxes are in perfect condition. Uh, no dings, dents or bashes. Uh, so um, very, very good uh, packaging. So, open up. Now, this is the, the first thing I noticed that was different. The canvases now come in a bag. So we have a, a drawstring at the end. And the bag has the Home Craftology logo on it. It does look very cool with the, the white uh, text against the black background. So you could use this uh, if you are one of these people who take their diamond paintings to various places to work on. You could uh, roll it up with the drills on the outside if you've already started it and uh, pop it in the bag. So that's new. Then we have the blue ribbon. Uh, fancy little touch which is also new uh, they never used to have ribbons on them so just makes it a little bit more special uh, nice if you're sending a kit to someone as a gift uh, maybe you know a, a, another diamond painter and you're looking for an idea for Christmas uh, it'd be a, a quite a, a nice touch so before we look at the actual canvas, as always, we'll check what's inside it. It should be the drills and the tools, which are dropped on the floor. So we'll do the tools first. So this is a, the tool bag, the goodie bag, whatever you want to call it. And this is basically all you need uh, to do your diamond painting. So we have a good old diamond painting pen, standard pen, basically a straw with a single tip, no multiplacer, but we do have a day glow pink squidgy. So the squidgies are um, to make things a bit more comfortable, a little bit of foam makes the pen a bit thicker so it makes it more comfortable when you're using the pen for long periods of time so quite nice to have that. Then we have uh, tweezers, um, pretty basic tweezers, uh, very thin but uh, they do work but I found with this type um, I had to press really hard and the, the drills tended to ping away but it was the first time I tried it, so maybe that was more down to inexperience than anything else. Then we have the little tub, uh, which has a disc of pink wax in it, which is pretty handy because uh, you keep it in here, stops it drying out, and it keeps any any dust or hairs or anything from uh, getting onto the wax. So that's good. Then we have uh, the basic little tray, 
has the spout which is good if you use tic tac containers uh, this little nozzle fits exactly in uh, the top of a tic tac box it's also handy for any other container but especially for the tic tacs um, it has angled sides uh, which I've mentioned a lot um, I'm not keen on this uh, at all because when you've got the tray down you've got your drills in it and you accidentally touch the side um, it really takes very very little to flip that tray so uh, but it is the, the standard um, basic tray so that is the kit for that and now we have a few drills lot of drills in this so let's see if we can figure out how to open this one okay these bags have an adhesive strip so once you find it it's just a matter of uh, peeling along it which always makes a noise so I think it's done as quickly as I can And then just tip everything out. So if the bag stuck to the glue. Okay, get rid of that. So these are the drills and they come in the small bags uh, which hold about 200 drills each so all I'm doing is having a quick look uh, these are square drills as you can see um, just checking that they are nice and loose in the bags there is no oil from machinery uh, that would clump them together and cause problems so just uh, I'm not going to go through every one uh, I don't really see the point but just getting a general idea of the drills um, I have been using Homecraftology for a long time so really not expecting any problems and not finding any so yeah quite a few colours in this one and you'll see why in a minute so no problems with the drills at all And I'll just carefully throw them on the floor. So before we look at the actual canvas, we'll have a look at the key. So we'll find out exactly what the picture is. Should be a thumbnail. And there it is. It's a close-up of a peacock feather so you can see there's going to be uh, quite a bit of colour in this one so we have uh, the key which shows the symbols it shows the DMC number uh, how many drills and how many bags so we go on to a second page because there are so many uh, colours in this one so you can see that these have been checked somebody has went through and counted and checked to make sure they've got the correct number of bags for each colour but you should always double check them um, just to make sure you don't want to be more than halfway through a picture and then suddenly realise that you're missing a colour or you're short of uh, a particular colour so what you should do is check uh, the bags that you've got basically what I do is just pull anything just pick one up and um, I'll just grab one off the floor again this is just for people who, who may never have diamond painted so 351 that was the one that I picked up these are in numerical order the ID which is the TMC number um, 351 so 351 and it says there I should have five bags one two three four five so that's correct 
So what I do is I get a pen and I just check, got it. And you do that with all of the colors, go through all of them, check that you have the correct number of bags and you're good to go. And what I do is I get a freezer bag. And for this one, it's an eight liter <laughs> freezer bag because it's uh, so many drills. And uh, I put all the drills in there and then I fold up the key with the picture on the outside and I put this in the bag. So when I'm uh, looking for a particular one, like this one, I decide, okay, I'm going to do the peacock feather. Um, I, I look for the bag with that picture and I know that I've got the drills for it. That is only if you happen to have a few diamond paintings uh, that you still have to do, and I do. I have, uh, I think, about 40 now uh, in the to-do list. So on here, um, it tells you the size. So it's 50 by 75, so it's 50 centimetres wide, 75 centimetres deep. And some instructions, basic instructions on how to diamond paint. So that is the key, just put that to the side and now we'll have a look at the canvas. So we now know what it is, so no surprise. And it is poured glue, so we don't have any problems with air bubbles. So Homecraftology used to do um, double sided adhesive and then they decided to upgrade and now they only do poured glue so you never have to worry about getting a kit that has air bubbles on it or creases and um, poured glue uh, as far as touch wood um, as far as I'm concerned poured glue is always uh, flat you don't have to mess about with it uh, you don't have to cut air bubbles or anything I've never had any problems with uh, any that have poured glue. So this is the key down the side and you can see this one has 50 colours, 1 to 50, um, has the symbols again. I find that the, the print on the actual canvas tends to be sharper than uh, on the paper and that's for all companies. Um, it just seems to, to be better on the canvas. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the paper, but um, if sometimes you get the print, um, you might find you're struggling to make it out on the paper. Have a look on the canvas uh, and you'll probably find that you can read it easier. That's just a general thing. I don't mean that specific to Homecraftology. That's just any company. The print tends to be sharper on the canvas. So we have uh, the thumbnail. And then we have the actual uh, picture. So the thing that they have upgraded is the canvas and it is a big upgrade. Uh, hard to explain um, just by video, but I haven't tried to flatten this at all. And you can see that it is sitting flat. It keeps sliding off the table because I work on an angled table. Um, but it's it's flat, it's ready to go uh, without having to put it under the mattress for a week or um, peel the cover back and uh, normally when it's double sided adhesive they tend to want to curl up, they want to go back into the shape they were in the box so normally you'll see videos of me peeling back the cover, going back just over halfway, putting it back again, turn it around, do the same thing and that takes the tension out of the canvas and flattens it. With poor glue, you don't uh, you don't get that problem, but you still can have the canvas having the creases in it where it's been in the box, and it needs uh, rolled the other way maybe to help get it down or put under the mattress for a few days or some books on it that type of thing. The thing about the new canvas from Homecraftology is you don't need to do any of that. You can take it straight out of the box, sort your drills, get ready, your canvas will be ready. Um, this is flat already and I haven't done anything with it. So 
to me this is the biggest upgrade that they've done um, switching from um, double sided adhesive to pour glue was a really good uh, upgrade but improving the canvas has just made a really big difference because it cuts out all the hassle that you may have before you can actually start working on your canvas so big thumbs up uh, for that for the canvas it is very very good um, <clears throat> what we'll do now have a look at the, the print I suppose so I'll just peel back a bit of the cover and, oh, don't drop it so just a, a look close up so you can see um, absolutely no problems reading those symbols at all perfect print so that is it um, <clears throat> what else can I say not much actually um, everything about the canvas and the glue and, and the print is I would say perfect so if you're looking for a kit where you don't have any hassle um, I, would, I would definitely recommend Homecraftology and I'm not being sponsored to say that it's just an honest opinion um, to me the canvas is a really really uh, big upgrade and it works very very well so just a little update on uh, the information uh, that I gave during the video and in the next section um, I'd already recorded everything and I decided to go to the Homecraftology website to find out how much the release paper was and what size of packets they sold it in was at 50s, 100s, whatever and I couldn't find any so I double checked, I went to the accessories, scrolled through all of the storage containers and pens and various things, uh, light pads and stuff and couldn't see any release paper so I emailed Homecraftology and asked them about it um, and said I had uh, just recorded a review there was some release paper uh, in the kit and I just uh, took it for granted that it was a sample and uh, customers would be able to buy more online if they decided they liked it. They replied back and said they actually don't sell release paper or as they called it butter paper um, that's a new one for me so uh, they call it butter paper and they said it's just a courtesy for customers just to try it and see if that is something that they would like to use and simple as that they don't actually sell it now I don't know if that may change in the future if uh, customers get in touch and ask about it maybe um, I honestly don't know but I just thought I would put this little snippet in just to clear that up because in the final section that's coming next I do mention that you can go and buy it from Homecraftology rather than re-recording the whole thing I just thought I would put this little piece in so if you use the release paper and you like it you could contact Homecraftology and let them know that you liked it um, but if you want to buy uh, release paper as it stands at the moment you will need to look for it elsewhere so I just wanted to clarify that um, before people start contacting Homecraftology and saying there's the release paper that Jim said um, that was me jumping the gun so uh, now I've settled things and uh, we'll go to the end I knew there was something that I forgot I forgot to mention the release paper <clears throat> so now um, Homecraftology include some release paper uh, so you can try it and see if uh, that's the way that you would like to work your diamond paintings I did explain it more in uh, the previous Homecraftology video uh, that I posted a link a bit earlier um, I also have two or three videos uh, where I go through uh, setting up and how I set up release paper so if you're not sure what release paper is or, or how to use it um, if you subscribe and look through the videos um, you, you'll find them in there 
So um, this is a, a good idea as well. It gives people a chance to try it. Not everybody uses release paper, but a lot of people do. So um, Home Craftology supply uh, a few pieces that you can try. See if you prefer to work that way or if you just want to work with the, the clear cover. I know that a lot of people don't like working with the clear cover, um, but you might. Some people do, some people don't. So they're, they're giving you the chance to, to try it. And uh, if you like it, you can order more from Home Craftology if you want this particular type of release paper. So again, uh, the big upgrade for me definitely is the canvas. Um, it is just sitting ready to go and I haven't done anything with it. So pretty impressed with that. Most canvases um, takes a bit of work to get them flat. Uh, some canvases it takes a lot of work to get them flat. But um, in this case, no work at all. I like that. So, uh, yep, the bag, handy if you are one of these people that takes your diamond painting on vacation with you or to work. Uh, some people actually take diamond painting to work. Uh, if you do that, um, the bag that they supply uh, would come in handy for uh, rolling your canvas up and putting it in. Um, the, what else? I'm trying to think what else is different. Nothing really. Uh, the drills are good. Uh, they always have been. So um, there's not really much that you can improve on the drills. Um, poor glue. Um, they, they switched over from double-sided adhesive. They, they no longer do that. I think that was a very good move uh, for, for everybody. Um, because then you don't get customers who are complaining there are creases and wrinkles and bubbles and you have to send out a new kit. Uh, that was a thing of the past when you moved to port glue. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very nice, very, very good quality. And uh, again, this is definitely going to be a, a 2022 project, but um, it will appear um, probably up there at some point in the future. Um, I like diamond paintings, well you can probably tell, I like diamond paintings that have a lot of colour in them and uh, this one has 50, so uh, I like that. So that's it, uh, another nice one from Home Craftology, that was lucky number 13, uh, that is the 13th diamond painting I have bought from Home Craftology and they keep improving. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, as always, please subscribe and hit that notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube Live. Um, actually, I have started on Twitch as well. Uh, I'll put the details in the description. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. In the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.